Jeffrey Winder was found guilty of misdemeanor assault in February for punching white nationalist organizer Jason Kessler in August 2017. On Tuesday, a jury ruled that his punishment will be a whopping $1 fine. Kessler attempted to hold a press conference in Charlottesville, Virginia, the day after Heather Heyer was killed by a white supremacist who drove his car into a group of people protesting the white nationalist rally organized by Kessler's Unite the Right group. Winder was among the protesters who showed up to stop Kessler from making a statement, punching him in the back of the head as others booed and shouted over him. Winder faced a maximum possible sentence of a year in jail and a $2,500 fine for the punch, which was caught on tape by the local NBC affiliate. He appealed his misdemeanor assault conviction, and while the jury upheld the guilty verdict, they determined that he should serve no jail time and should only be fined $1, sending a clear message that Winder was justified in lashing out at Kessler. Winter's attorney, James Abrigno, argued that Kessler brought the punch on himself by holding a press conference while the city was reeling from the so recent death of Hayer, arguing that he was going out of his way to profit off tragedy NPR reports that Winder told NBC29, WVIR, he Kessler had an incredible amount of nerve coming in front of the people of Charlottesville after the pain, suffering, and terror that he brought on the community. He should never be allowed to show his face in town again. It appears that a jury of his peers agrees and may have just settled a long-standing debate over the morality of punching white supremacists. On Inauguration Day, January 20, 2017, white supremacist instigator Richard Spencer was punched in the face while giving an interview by a masked protester. The punch heard round the world became a viral sensation and ignited a passionate and sometimes gleeful debate over whether punching Nazis is a moral necessity or a self-defeating attempt to fight violence with violence. Spencer doesn't consider himself a Nazi, nor does Kessler, but the meme machine wasn't interested in splitting hairs between the labels Nazi, neo-Nazi, white supremacist, or white nationalist, and just went with the catch-all, Nazi. Along with videos of Spencer's punch...